if you are resitting exams in the autumn, October for A-levels, November for GCSEs, things are going to be hard. If you're resitting, I really hope it's because you need to improve your grade and not necessarily just because you want to improve your grade because this is going to be a really, really hard situation and at the moment with all the stressful things that are going on I don't think we should voluntarily be putting ourselves into hard situations and that we should just take the easy route sometimes just just for everyone's sanity. So if you're sitting the exams in the autumn because you need a better grade you've been out of school for six months uh, when school shut you might not have finished the course so you might have had like a few lessons left to go or a few modules left to go you also missed out on the revision time the revision practice that would have been given to you by your school there is going to be a whole chunk of the course that you never got taught and that's going to be different for everybody what the actual content is and what the actual subject is is going to vary wildly and then of course how much of the content hasn't been taught yet your older teachers are busy teaching than new students and teachers are incredibly hard working people they are working 60 hour weeks teaching their new students so Unfortunately, I don't think that you're going to get a lot of um, revision time from your old teachers. Now, if you look at my other video about resitting exams, you'll know that the centre which entered you for summer exams is the one that is going to be expected to enter you for the autumn exams. So, it is not unreasonable for you to expect that school to provide you with some revision things, but... I don't think you're going to be getting a lot from your teachers because they are so, so busy trying to cope with everything in the new school year. So it is going to be you and it is going to be me. And together we are going to be doing this revision for the autumn exams. Now hopefully you are not going to have to be taking every single subject again. I would not like the situation where you are taking 10 GCSEs or 3 A levels because that is an extreme amount of work. I'm hoping that it's going to be one A level and maybe just a couple of GCSEs. Now if you are really taking GCSEs you're probably also going to be studying for something else at the same time. If you're taking A levels um hopefully you're not doing anything else at the same time but you might be on a foundation degree or you might be working out of necessity and I say I hope because we have a lot of work to do in not a lot of time you need to let the schools know by early September so in a couple of weeks time that you need to be resitting these exams and then for A levels we've got two months until October to get the learning and the revision done now this is a lot of work to cram into not a lot of time especially if you're out of the practice if there's a lot of stuff that you have to teach yourself so it is just going to be sensible revision practice the advice that i would give you if we were actually sitting the exams in april but you are going to have to be really strict with yourself and you're going to have to stick to a timetable so the first thing that you need to know is what do you need to know and what don't you know go through the syllabus go through your revision guides go through the free revision guides that are over on my website which tells you everything that you need to know and say yes i know this bit no i don't know this bit yes i know this bit no i don't know this bit and find the gaps find the gaps with bits you don't know bits you weren't taught bits that you're not 100 percent sure of and then go and fill in those gaps so watch the teaching videos try the courses over on my website um fill in those gaps as best you can i would strongly suggest doing i'm going to say an exam paper a day now at the beginning this is going to be really really hard work because you're not going to do amazingly in this exam paper but if you do the exam paper under timely conditions it will start to get you back into the practice then mark it using the mark scheme and see where you went wrong 
this is the most important thing. And then the next day you do another exam paper and you will start to see that the same questions come up and hopefully you are not making the same mistakes. Once you've done the exam paper, marked it, pick a topic that you didn't do very well in and go and do a load of questions on those. Now, over on my website, there are a load of questions for uh, A-level maths, uh, biology, chemistry, psychology, GCSE, science, maths, history. Um, and if you are resitting, then there is going to be a discount code, which will give you a load off these courses. They're not very much at the beginning, definitely less than spending any money on a tutor or a textbook. Um, but to help you out with that, then there's the discount code. Make yourself a timetable so that you're sure you cover every single part of the specification. You do not want to miss out a couple of bits and then find that it's a six, seven, eight mark question on the exam. Especially at A level and in subjects like maths, we know every single skill is going to be tested in one of those papers. So there is nothing that you can miss out. It is gonna be a lot of hard work which is why we need to be really, or well, you need to be really restricted with those stuff. Get up at a sensible time in the morning and work school hours. I'm not saying you have to work loads, but you know, start at nine, go through till 12, have a half hour lunch break, and then work again till three, four o'clock. Don't work so much that you are exhausted and you cannot physically sleep or you're so stressed. You still have to do things like sleep and rest and relax. These are important things as well. But don't work so little that we're not actually getting anything done. Work sensibly and switch things up. Make sure that if you do an exam paper, and then you mark it, go and revise, I know it's probably going to be the same subject, but go and revise in a different way, so using the multiple choice questions, or watching a video, or trying an exam paper, or writing out flashcards. Revise the same skill in a number of different ways, and that will really, really help you not to go completely crazy. If you just sit at your desk doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, you will go crazy. I, I have nightmares about revising my A-level maths because I sat at my desk and I did mechanics questions after mechanics questions after mechanics questions because I just didn't get it. But it was not a lot of fun. However, in the exam, because I had done so many mechanics questions, I didn't necessarily understand the maths or the mechanics, but I knew what an answer should look like. And then in the end, I got my A-level. So it is going to be hard work, guys. Um... I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, doing as much as I can to support you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.